All right, folks, we are here at the Otter Creek Wilderness. Uh, we're getting back out with the gang this weekend. Sarah and I are here at the Dry Fork Trailhead uh, to enter Otter Creek. We'll cross over the Cheat River here in just a minute. But uh, we're going to try to do four days in the Otter Creek Wilderness this weekend, or this week slash weekend. Um, about 30 to 35 miles total, I think. No real big mild days or anything. Gonna kind of loop around and and hit as many areas in Otter Creek as we can. So it'd be a very rugged, very wild wilderness. No signage, not a lot of maintenance. Very remote. Uh, but I've been looking forward to this spot for many years. Uh, the gang, we're all kind of entering separately. 3M entered here this morning, but I think he's already been on trail for at least a couple of hours. Uh, satellite casts are starting at a different trailhead, uh, meeting us at camp tonight, and uh, yeah, we're all just essentially meeting at camp tonight and then continuing on together for the rest of the hike. But uh, yeah, it's supposed to be some snow, supposed to be cold. Right now, I think it's in the 40s or at least right at 40, so it's not too bad at all. But uh, anyway, without further ado, we're going to come down here and cross this really cool uh, suspension bridge over the Cheat River. Here's where Otter Creek uh, enters the Cheat River right here. So we're going to be getting on that other bank and going over there and following Otter Creek up for quite a ways. Man, it's a beautiful morning. Yeah, it's pretty convenient. Yep, just watering up. Only a couple miles in, but we didn't start with any water, so. Gathering some now.
January, but you look around and all you see is just green, green, green. Down in this bottom. Everything's covered in moss. Very bright green moss. I don't know if the camera on here does it justice to how vivid this is, especially where it stands out from all the dull brown around it. It's beautiful. Yep. Lots of these little water crossings, little tributaries coming into Otter Creek. You hear the creek roaring over there beside us through the rhododendron. Well, we're probably about four miles or so into the hike. Not a lot of, not really any elevation gain or loss. Pretty easy hiking. Do you need a hand, beautiful? Here I come. Oh yeah, there's a waterfall up the mountain right behind us there. I don't think you can see that on here. But we are uh, making our first turn. We are getting on the Green Mountain Trail. Uh, we had debated sticking on the Otter Creek Trail uh, because it's actually shorter that way. It's about two miles shorter to get to camp that way. This kind of takes us up the mountain away from Otter Creek, up on the uh, plateau top, and then down to the same spot we'd be going to anyway over here. But uh, the creek has to be crossed at least a couple of times before we get to camp. And the last couple crossings we've seen are, they're not rock hops. you got to take your stuff off and, and wade through the water. And it's pretty wide too. And it's, uh, it's January. So uh, I think we're going to go the long route, go up the mountain, get some slightly different scenery up there. Uh, we still should get to camp at a good time anyway. So here we go, up Green Mountain. This is definitely a steep climb coming up off of Otter Creek going up Green Mountain. I think it's a thousand feet, about a mile, which is a pretty good shot up the hill. Yeah, we might be uh, maybe halfway up. Just taking it slow and steady. Been spoiled by all that flat trail this morning so far. So we are, I think, just about to the top of the mountain here, but even way, way up here on top of this mountain, in the middle of the wilderness. We got dumbasses carving trees. Although that one says 1962. Then we got 1970, I believe, down below. And Nate. So, you know, fuck you, Nate. All right, so we have finally got to the top of Green Mountain. I'll tell you, that was a doozy of a climb. There was no joke, there were no switchbacks. It was just straight up the slope of the hill, a thousand feet up. Uh, we took it slow and steady. And yeah, now we're at the top. So we're gonna get some good, uh, I don't wanna say easy trail because I don't know what any of this looks like yet, but some not straight uphill trail uh, for the rest of this hike today. Yeah, hallelujah. It's very beautiful up here though. The sun is filtering through the trees. A lot of rhododendrons. Rhododododos. Yep, it's uh, I think 1.30, something like that. And we don't have many more miles. And it's gorgeous out, so no complaints. Trail's a little thick up here on Green Mountain. 
been seeing uh, 3M's footprints. It looks like he's been doing a little bit of trimming through here as he's gone, from what I can tell. But, uh, reminds me of Roaring Plains a little bit, how tight and thick these trails can be in certain places. But at least it's flat. We got an intersection. Ah, uh, doesn't really look like a, anything at all. All right, we have come to the junction of uh, Green Mountain Trail and Possession Camp Trail. There's a really nice campsite up here. But uh, had they, I usually knock these cairns down when I see them, but these I think are pretty useful because coming from the opposite direction of us uh, you know if that Karen wasn't there you probably wouldn't even see that there's a trail and then the direction we're going this way you know you got one that goes this way and one that goes this way uh, this is where Green Mountain Trail continues we're going to be coming down here to go down possession uh, possession camp run and down at the bottom of this is where the rest of the crew should be already there waiting for us I don't know. That appears so. I think this is Possession Camp Run. We've only got about a mile, a little over a mile and a half left to uh, meet up with the crew at camp. It's been a nice gradual downhill now. All right, yeah, let's go across this little thing. How's the water? Warm? Hey. Found them. Yeah. Found some dry wood. Yeah. Good shit, go. man. Better now. <laughs> Here we are. Did you guys have a lot of water crossing? Yeah. yeah that's Camp. The satellite has made us some burgers right on the grill, on the fire. Getting settled in here is a great day. I'm glad to be here with everybody else. I set my burger on the tree. There we go. I don't want to blind everybody. Tree burger. I'm definitely keeping this back for those. Mustard in it. I didn't have a second to fucking pack it inside. What all do you want on your uh, thing, sir? Bitch, I'm going to eat ketchup with a real fucking person. <laughs> Is that the same? Nope. Mm -hmm. This is a band called the Ooh. Sith. Split that between the two buns. I bet the bears around are. Oh, yeah, yeah. for sure. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> are you recording nose, me ripping? Nose in the, the air. Nose in the air. This tends yeah, to work for them to sleep. Yeah. Yeah, they don't really sleep much up here around right here. Maybe if it snowed a lot. Oh. Right, we only have a packet of mustard and ketchup well, left. So we gotta go morning. hard with it. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, they had trailers and all kinds of shit just hauled up there, stacked along the little woods road that goes up in there. The PETC's about to go to court with them, though. They're not fucking around. They're like, Good, fuck, fuck you. The they coat, suck. They're so they trashy. Do, they overprice and they yeah. charge you like, you go up there to swim in their little swimming lake, like 20 bucks. Well, they're Damn. a drug festival. We went up there and it was just a bunch of Molly. Yeah, I ran yeah. off like five, six gallons of different types of moonshine, yeah. brandy. Oh yeah, go up there they to didn't sell it. it. No, they didn't fucking want it. They, they wanted, wanted Molly, and yeah. we had a dude come out of the woods <laughs> looking for a studio. Yeah, he came up to our tent at like three a.m. and he's like, "Is this Studio Sixty Nine? We we're like, "Studio oh, Sixty Nine. No. What are you even? <laughs> balls. They it's do just that. A drug uh, den now. Good grief. That uh, rock. Good morning, folks. It's a little different out this morning than it did last night. 
some overnight snow. I slept warm, oh, very warm, cozy. Uh, my CPAC's tent was uh, covered in snow. I had to kick a bunch of it off because it was sagging down on us. But uh, it's all good. Morning of day two. Now I've got, I think, nine miles to do today in the snow. Got some uh, pretty significant uh, creek crossings today. Uh, but anyway, I'm going to go over here by the fire and get warm. <laughs> All right, so we're finally getting ready to head out of camp this morning. We've been kind of lollygagging, diddly bopping. 3M lollygag. 3M lollygag. We didn't get out of bed until like after 7:30. Sarah and I. But we're all packed up here at camp, and we're going to head uh, up uh, upstream on the Otter Creek Trail, cross Otter Creek, and then I don't remember what the name of the next trail is. But we've got uh, nine or so miles today. We're going to be hiking it in the snow. I think we're going to drop our shit off at our campsite for tomorrow night, which is actually on our way. We're doing a bit of a loop. So we'll carry light bags. But anyway, it was a good campsite. Great campsite. Stayed warm, stayed dry, mostly. Let's roll. Wintertime water fording. It's either this, get our feet wet, or risk falling in and getting everything wet. So uh, I'm going to take my shoes off here in just a minute. Uh, do our best to get across this thing and not freeze our fucking asses off. Yeah, that was the coldest creek crossing ever. I had to just take the shoes off and, and deal with it. Man, I couldn't feel my fucking toes. My feet are burning. But I'm on the other side now and I got everything back on. Uh, I was the last person to cross. Everybody else has already moved ahead of me a little bit to get their blood flowing back to their feet again. Whew, hope we don't have any more like that today. Alright, so we're about a mile into our day, roughly, and now uh, we're doing a loop today, so we've decided to go ahead and set up our camp, where we intend to camp tonight, and drop off all the things that we're not going to need for the day, and uh, just hike back around to the spot, and everything will already be set up, don't have to worry about setting up in the snow later, when it's uh, likely dark. Uh, so yeah, that's what we're going to do, we're going to do uh, continue up Otter Creek up to I believe Shavers Mountain Trail over to Miley's back down coming uh, from behind the ladies over there but yeah let's carry some light weight today should make the miles easier I'm trying to create a better way across for later Oh, fuck, man. Yeah, that's what I'm worried about. <laughs> Stepping our foot down on that with a reach is going to be rough. Where are you trying to put it? We can't make that road. Yeah, that's I feel like on the other side of that rock, she looks tricky from here, too. Yeah. Coming this way, you can. Look at that one, and this one wasn't bad. This one. Yeah, we I jumped that shit. <laughs> <laughs> I, I did. We ain't jumping. These, I don't know about what you're doing. We don't. We 
Over the freezing cold water. That's my Rolling right along. Otter Creek all morning. This is uh, one of the prettier creeks I believe I've ever seen. Good wild West Virginia stream. No development, no houses, no structure, no anything. Just a wild creek. I love it. All right, out here in this meadow, first meadow we we've had in this hike. That's what it looks like. It looks like it goes all the way around. It reminds me of where we uh, crayfish hunted. Yeah, off Blackbird Knob. Yep. It's beautiful. I bet you the way they talk about when it floods that uh, this is all water at some time. Probably. All right, so a little bit of a change of plans. A lot of it. Yeah, a lot of bit. <laughs> we uh, came a little bit farther up the Otter Creek Trail. Um, it's been a bunch of small water crossings. Anyway, people have wet feet, frozen feet. Uh, to do the rest of this loop is definitely going to put us well into hiking in the dark. Uh, and then we'll have to do a pretty serious water crossing towards the end when it's dark. And no dry wood if we don't get back to camp sometime soon and start processing. So we made a group decision to uh, to uh, not do the loop today. Uh, satellite and cast are going to go back up to their vehicle, which is a couple miles from camp. Grab some more beer. Uh, 3M, Sarah and I hiked a little farther up the Otter Creek Trail. I got here to this beautiful meadow. It's a creek meandering behind us. But, uh... We're sitting here, I'm eating some lunch. Uh, 3M turned back, he's gonna go start working on firewood. Once I finish lunch, we're gonna head back too. So we're not doing the loop today, we just did a short out and back. We're gonna go back and make sure everybody's cozy and warm at camp for the evening. It's supposed to be snowy and very cold. Uh, not sure how we're gonna rework our plans from here, but, or from, you know, past today, I should say. We'll figure that out when the time comes. Spam is gross. All right, back here at camp, just processing some wood. 3M found some pretty good, long, solid uh, dry logs here, so cutting those up, splitting those up, uh, making some Irish coffee. Then we're gonna go walk around and see what we can see. I think I hear somebody. Looks like. The rest of the crew has returned from their trip back to the truck, so we're starting to get worried about them. It's getting dark. What's going on, man? Good to see you. We made it. We're starting to get a little worried. Well, we decided to go to Lexworth. <laughs> right on, dude. <laughs> hey, this big flat one right here? The one to the right of it. Right? Again, that one moves. It wobbles yeah. like this. That middle one's safe, though. There's a couple of snows we put on after. Cass, 
Yes, that one's fine, yep. That's the one that wobbles. And you're golden. Hey, if I'd known y'all go to the store, I'd had you give me a soda. I did. You got me a soda? Okay, I don't like you, you dude. You're alright. <laughs> this guy's alright. I got a Coke and a Dr. Pepper. Fuck yeah. Whoa. Whoa. That's already wet. Good thing, you're, yeah, he's already soda. I can't make you <laughs> There's no fucking way. I'm way too short for this shit. I'm gonna have to get my foot wet. Oh. Welcome you back, man. Welcome yeah. back. He didn't see you. No, he missed me. He's got bigger, more important things on his mind. Oh, shit, a while. We've been. Oh, that's far. Yeah. You guys didn't get my message. No. Oh, yeah. What'd you send him through? Did you send him to the uh. I sent him one to you, I sent one to him. On InReach or on cell phone? Oh, uh, uh, yeah. Yeah. All right, cool. Everybody's back. We can all rest easy. That Miley is up. Fuck that ever again. Rest my life. Never again. Never going that way. a couple seats. There's room for. Miley is Cyrus. What is it even called? Miley? Miley? I think it's Miley. I think. I could be wrong. Straight up incline the whole way. Yep, I got you a Coke and some whiskey. You are a good, good man. <laughs> Let me have the rest of that pot of water because I'm making fucking Thanksgiving too. You want me to pour it in? You still got your Thanksgiving meal? I, I'm, I make them over and over. No, no, not that Thanksgiving. Oh, my original. Okay. I do still have the candy yams. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I do. I have the yams too. You make the thing out of the chip too? No, no, no. I have my staple forever for backpacking is hey, half beautiful. a pack of stuffing, a pack of mashed potatoes, a pack of brown gravy, and, and then some kind of meat. Before you cook, it I just, no, he like pours it all together in, yeah, water. in one pot. <laughs> Incredibly rich. So it's like a Thanksgiving dinner in one okay pot. And just pour hot water over. Yep. It's a delicious, uh, hearty bag of mush. Yes. Well, what more could you want? Right. You better eat it all because it's a. Besides whiskey. It's a mess to fucking clean out of the pot when you're done. Look at the water. Gotta cook it in a bag, bro. Or my shoe. Have you done it in a bag? I'm not about that, that bag life. You're not in that bag life? You gotta get in that you bag life. You can't do it in any old bag, though, right? You gotta have a. It's freezer bag. Any they're they're bag, temperature yeah. tolerant, yeah. A regular sandwich bag, it'll. Oh, sorry. If it doesn't melt, it'll release a bunch of BPAs and shit. Yeah. Right, let's get these bags open. Where's Justin? Mm -hmm. Fell, it's shrimp and grits. What? Oh. Yeah. You might have just got a little bit of sawdust in there. Damn, this is a good fire. Those two back logs no, are... Yep. No, that yeah, your two back logs grits. are burning, so watch your uh, booties. He had both. A stick of incense is about to go up in flames here in a minute. You have fire right next to your stuff. We might need to rearrange, move that log. Yeah, we'll get it to fire here in a second. Is there another bag in there? Food? Still freaking moisture coming off in the damn side. I believe it. Look at my pant leg. <laughs> I don't think it's in there. <laughs> it's not even hot. You can feel it. It's not even slightly hot. It's not cold oh, yeah. either, though, is it? You look like a retard again. I hope you know that. This was on top. Twice in one day. Retard. <laughs> I'm not going high school with my brother anymore. So, Shit, your brother brought me soda for my whiskey, so he can come <laughs> anytime he wants. I drove. <laughs> hey, I was helping. Terribly. I drove so. I would have been back. We've been back before. It you made it back. <laughs> Damn it. If we went 40 and a 65, that's fucking reasonable. Like <laughs> granny's flying by. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll do that. You want to add the word? I was just happy that I thought it was. There's some fluffy taters, 3M. Yeah, boy. Yeah, I got salt and pepper to put in there in a minute and some salmon. <laughs> I flipped them inside out a little bit ago. I'm wearing fleece line socks inside of my booties right now. Cass, what'd you do with that under the bed sock? <laughs> What's under the bed sock? I didn't realize when I started the video, it would stop the music. That's fucking dumb. Under the bed sock. Who has an under the bed sock still? Cass has an under the bed sock.
bed sock. I'm 41. I do not have it's an under the bed sock. Angle, it's shaped right? like a C. Is that what it is? Don't you dare ever call me. <laughs> Are you my yeah. under the bed sock, <laughs> sweetheart? What is it and what it's filled with? I feel like you could stand it up. Nope. Is it like crusty and firm? <laughs> yes. Does it make a sound when you bend it in half? You could flip a hamburger with it. Face, you know? I mean, it is what it is. That's definitely a cum sock. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, classic. you could use it as per, uh, like Don't a mallet disrespect that for thing. percussion. That was your friend three hours ago. <laughs> yeah, he needed her. <laughs> oh my god. Well, hey, you know, rinse it out in the creek, hang it up, and call it a day. Yeah, there you, you go. Be friends Leave with her again tomorrow. <laughs> It was still burning up before. Yeah, they covered it and got it going again. They were cold and fired it up. They piled the rocks on it. Perfect. I was laying in there trying to go to bed and it was lighting up the tent still. Good morning, folks. It's the morning of day three. It's pretty late now. It's probably 10, 10 30 in the morning. We all got up late and poking around camp. Uh, we made a decision to go ahead and hike out today. Oh, um, excuse me. A lot of us have uh, soaking wet frozen shoes. Uh, some of us have burned our shoes to be almost unusable on the fire last night. Um, everything's just very cold, very wet. We still have a bunch of high water crossings to do if we were to continue, so. I think we're just going to call it quits on this one. We did two nights. It's going to be two and a half, basically three days of hiking. Um, yeah, we're going to hike up uh, the Miley's Trail, which I'm standing in the middle of right now. And yeah, to Satellite Cast's his truck, and uh, they're going to drive us back to back to our Subaru. But uh, it's been fun. It's been cool. It's been an experience. But I think uh, some of us have uh, reached the limit of what we're. Uh, comfortable with, I guess. Like I said, a lot of people didn't, uh, weren't able to keep their feet dry and their shoes dry. And yeah, and it's supposed to rain all day tomorrow, too. So these water crossings are going to get even worse. But anyway, th that's what we're doing. We're still in the process of packing up camp. Uh, before we head on out of here, I think it's about two or three miles to get back to Satellite and Cass's truck. So, uh, yeah, that's what we're doing. It's the only time of year you're going to get this view. See the snow out in the meadows and the other mountains in front of us. It's gorgeous. Coming down the other side of the Miley's Trail right now. I think we're about halfway back to Satellite Cass's truck, roughly. Alright, we are back at the truck. Down here at the beginning of the Milius Trail. Don't remember what the name of this road is right here. But yeah, we've gotten back to the truck. We're all going to pile in and ride uh, a bunch of back roads to get back to the uh, Dry Fork Trailhead. So, uh, adventure's basically over. We're going to hang out a little while, maybe go get something to eat in Davis. But uh, we'll figure all that out as we go. One hell of an adventure. Very cold, very wet, uh, but still fun. Yeah, Sarah's shoe is Dunsky. But yeah, uh, Otter Creek Wilderness in January was pretty fucking wild. Anyway, we're piling in now, so I'm gonna get off here and I'll check back in before we're all done. All right, so we have come full circle. Oh, thank you, buddy. Is that a pillow? Yeah, super light. You can put it on top of an inflatable one. It gives you a nice little neck support. Feels These like all Dutchware fittings? Uh -huh. <laughs> That's what I thought. Thank you, man. All right, so we're back here. We're done. We're at the Dry Fork Trailhead again. We had a hell of a time. 
getting here all uh, crammed into their truck we ended up getting to a spot that was a ford in the river that you cannot drive a truck through so we had to drive all over the fucking place and eventually we got our way here yep it's the end of the line we're gonna go into davis get a bite to eat and say our goodbyes <laughs> Fish and chips, go. Uh, Wicked water. wilderness. That's good. No, that's your time. Great way to end a great adventure.